Hi friends, this is Batel from Batel's Kitchen and today I really want to show you a salad that I've tasted at a restaurant that is so so delicious. It is a kale and cabbage salad that has the most amazing miso sesame dressing that is just beyond delicious. So I have my kale over here, I have my cabbage over here and I'm just starting by combining the ingredients and putting them here in this bowl. So what I want to do first is take the kale and just take the, uh, the stems and remove them from the kale so that it will be easier to chew, okay? Because these are pretty um, chewy, fibrous. So I wanna get rid of those. My kale is washed and clean. Here we go. So I'm removing the leaf. And once you have that, you can also chop the kale a little bit smaller. So I like to put it here on the cutting board, taking my knife and just chopping it like that. Because it's easier to chew and it's nicer. Also, it has a better chance to absorb the yummy dressing. So, once we have that, I'm going to dump it into a bowl. Just like that. And just put everything in here. Now, I'm going to take this one and add to here my cabbage. So I have thinly sliced cabbage either in a mandoline or with a knife or in a food processor. Just get it like really nice and make it make sure it's washed and put it in here as well. Now I'm going to chop a little bit of onion. I don't think there was onion uh, at the restaurant, but I love onions in my salad, so I'm going to do a little bit of onion in here as well. So I'm just going to peel it. And cut it into half moons. Okay. That should be enough. And I'm going to put it here on my salad. To that, I want to prepare an avocado. So, taking my avocado, getting rid of the uh, peat, and we can make like a flour or you can do whatever chop you want. Okay, let's do a flour. So I found that the key to a nice flour is just to um, really cut it thin, as thin as you can. Now, and now what I need to do is just make it like as long as possible. Like that, even more, 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 more. Stretch it and start to roll it. Just like that. Okay, so this is our flower. We're gonna keep it just like that. Put it on the side for now. Okay. 
And now that we have everything ready in terms of the salad, we're going to make the dressing. So I have my measuring cup over here and I'm going to put about a third cup of olive oil into here, a nice extra virgin olive oil. And to that, I'm going to add some uh, miso paste. Miso has like a beautiful salty flavor. It is very good for you. And um, it is something that is used in the Asian uh, recipes, but it is really, really uh, good to carry at home because it's very healthy as well. So I'm adding uh, some rice wine vinegar. I'm adding uh, some toasted sesame oil into here. And then I'm adding a little bit of honey or you can do maple syrup as well. If you wanna keep it uh, honey free. And I'm going to add whole tahini. Tahini will add a beautiful texture, flavor, depth, fats, really good. And um, some salt and pepper to taste. And we're gonna add some lemon as well. Salt, pepper, and let's get some lemon in here. Cutting my lemon. And straight to the cup. And this dressing is what makes this salad so, so special. Now, the best way to have a really nice dressing is to use a whisk or to put it in your ninja cup or food processor. But if you use a whisk and you blend it really well, it should give a really nice uh, emulsified texture to the dressing. And now we are ready to assemble the salad. Now, this is the texture, it is pretty thick, but that's what I love when it comes to kale salad. I feel like it needs a pretty dominant dressing. Okay, let's assemble. I'm also going to add just one tablespoon of organic soy sauce because it balances the umami flavor, the depth of the dressing. It makes it really extra decadent. So now that the dressing is ready, I'm going to take this beautiful salad and give it a mix. like that and now what you want to do is put the dressing we're gonna start with half okay and now we're just gonna try to have really everything incorporated. You can even let it sit for about 10 minutes after you dress the salad just to get a little bit more flavor. And this will make you fall in love with kale and cabbage together. Such a beautiful combination. You can even use uh, red cabbage if you want. At the restaurant, I think they are serving it with hard boiled egg or like a poached egg, which is something that I'm not going to do. That's why I made beautiful uh, avocado flour. So now that we have it ready, we are ready to do the crunch factor over here. And I'm going to take everything into here. 
So we definitely don't need more dressing. It is just about right. And you can keep the dressing for next time or for a bigger quantity of salad. And now we're going to take some cashew because that's the way they served it with a little bit of roasted cashews. And we're going to take our um, avocado flour and put it right on top, carefully. Just like that. And there we go. This is our salad restaurant quality that is just so satisfying and gorgeous and beautiful that I cannot wait for you to try. Kale, cashews, cabbage. We can also add a little bit of uh, black sesame seeds to make it extra special. Not a must, but why not? Hope you enjoyed.